I know you're like, what in the fuck am I looking at right now? You're like, that guy, that, <laughs> that kid looks so nice. He looks so good. He looks like a nice little kid. <laughs> Read what it says next to it. Naked madman who stabbed two neighbors was insane. Yeah, I know that person. What do you mean you know that person, criminal? I actually know that person. I was friends with this person for mm, maybe a year or two. Very nice guy. Awesome guy. He went from this. He was this guy, and he turned into this guy. Yeah, that's him being arrested completely naked on the floor. Okay, let me get into this. So, I know you're weirded out. You're like, what the what in the fuck? Yeah. Anyways, um, so um, um, yeah, I know him. His name is uh, Christian Falera. If you want to look him up, you can look him up. You can look him up. His name was uh, Christian Falero. Anyways, let me get into this story. So, I met him a long, long, long time ago through my one of my friends. Anyways, I saw him one day, and he was like, Hey, what's up, man? You like Street Fighter? I'm like, yeah, I like Street Fighter. I'm really good at Street Fighter. Hey, you want to fight him? You want to fight me in Street Fighter one day? Yeah, I want to fight you in Street Fighter one day. I'm like, okay. And I'll destroy you, too, because I'm really fucking good with Street I can beat you with kicks. Anyways, my point is that I never hung out with him because I'm awkward in general. When I meet you for the first time and you're like, I want to chill with you, I'm a little bit weird. So I don't I don't automatically like, yeah, let's chill. Da, 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 da. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to chill with you just yet. Uh, yeah, I'll chill with you. He was cool, though. Blah, blah, blah. Years pass by. Years and years and years and years. I see him again. He has his head shaved. He had long hair. And he's like, oh, yeah, this is my friend Christian. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Nice to meet you, my, my friend. <laughs> You're cool. So let me just run through this real quick. He's a really nice guy. He had, but, but I started noticing that he had a lot of anger problems. A lot of anger problems. Uh, I think his mom is really horrible. Uh, always screamed at him every single day. Treated him like garbage. He didn't really grow up too well. I don't think he had too much of a connection with his dad either. His dad lives completely somewhere else. And at home, it looked like he was treated really badly. So, uh, he was just kind of an odd guy. Very angry. Extremely homophobic out of nowhere. I tried to make him feel better because I would always be like, Can I suck your dick or what? One day he even asked me, he's like, Yo, criminal, why the hell aren't you like, you know, like homophobic and stuff? Like, why are you okay with gay people? I'm like, because... Why shouldn't I be okay with them? I should be okay with anyone in the world. There's no one's an issue. No one's bothering me. As long as you're not killing anyone or trying to make people feel bad, blah, 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 blah. That's all that matters in the world. So I, he was starting to learn. He was starting to get like a better person. And then one day, I just started to see that he only gives a shit about himself. Like his, his personality was dumb. He was very, very, very narcissistic. Kind of like low tier god i don't know if you know who low tier god god is look him up low tier god literally thinks he is like an actual god like he's so um like i'm so i'm such a handsome guy and all this like he 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 acts like he is but in reality usually when guys are like that they're usually extremely insecure obviously the people that focus the most on their looks are the most insecure let me give you that hint right there just so if you didn't know that uh, you're like, well, how is that possible? Trust me. Anyways, um, but uh, yeah, so basically he had like, he was just very narcissistic, very vain. Uh, he literally, even when we were on AIM, one of his names were The Perfectionist. And it was spelled The Perfect Ten, but it also looked like The Perfectionist. So he thought, he he, he gave this, he's like, oh, I'm macho, I, I'm, da, 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 da. and then I started to see that as, as time went on. Like, I love the guy, really cool guy, but as time went on, he just started to, it just, he only cared about himself so much. And he wasn't a nice person. Like, I would go to his house, he wouldn't even offer me water or food or anything. And I'm like, what are you, a fucking animal? But maybe his parents didn't raise him correctly. Like I said, all you would hear is his mom screaming all the fucking time. Ugh, that's a whole nother scenario. Uh, not a good single mom, but uh, moving on. 
And his brother was really cool. I love him. I'm not going to say his name, but his brother was actually really cool. Anyways, but uh, basically what happened is one day I stopped being his friend. My Me, my, me and my friend, uh, Caburn, we used to chill with him all the time. And one day, Caburn stopped chilling with him because he didn't think he was a good friend. And then one day, I stopped chilling with him. I forgot exactly why I stopped chilling with him. But at the same time, I'm like, maybe this is a good thing. But I stopped chilling with him. Three months later, down the line, I'm like, you know what? I want to forgive this guy and I want to be friends with him again. Okay? Sorry, I have OCD. I keep touching my hat. Anyways, I wanted to. I want to forgive him and be friends with him again. So, I'm in my friend's house, and we're all there, like three or four of us that really know him really well, and we're, te we're texting him on AIM, it's this thing, you know, back then, whatever, on AIM chat, or whatever, and, he, and we're like, oh yeah, I really want to be cool with you again, I told him, and I said, I really want to hang out with you and stuff, you want to come out here and meet us, and he was acting extremely strange, in the chat he was writing to us, oh, I don't like to go outside, there's too many people outside, and... Uh, I'm a little bit paranoid and in my head. I was like this guy's acting really weird But then there was one sentence that this guy wrote That didn't sit well with me and I knew it didn't sit well with me for the actions that happened later on which he wrote Hey You guys should come to my house so I can save you Save you do you know what save you means? Not only did this guy start to go crazy, but when you mix crazy with religion, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's not good. When you start reading the Bible and you start going fucking crazy in your brain, you might just do some crazy shit. That's what I think. Uh, yeah, that's not a good mix. But anyways, um, there's a lot of weird shit in the Bible about sacrifice and stuff like that. So that's why I'm saying that sometimes it could... Like, if you're crazy, the Bible, I don't think that's going to help you out. But anyways, um, the point is, he said he wants to save us. You know what that means. He wants to kill us, obviously. That's the that's the, In his head, he probably thinks he by killing us, he would probably save us. Whatever the case. But I didn't know it at the time. I just thought it was weird when he said that. Then two weeks later or so, the earthquake happened in New York City, which I never felt. But they say there's an earthquake that happened. Whatever. There's an earthquake that happened. I didn't feel it. Probably a really small earthquake. Earthquake happened. Never felt it. Then I get a call from my friend. And uh, he tells me, uh, Chris, Christian has uh, went on a killing spree. And he killed a few people. And he went on a stabbing spree. Whatever. And I thought he was a joke. I didn't even believe him. I'm like, yeah, right. Shut the hell up. He's like, I'm not kidding. Blah, 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 blah. And then I was like, get out of here. The only reason I didn't believe... The person that I was talking to is because he's known to lie all the time. He thinks lying is a, is a big joke. <laughs> Let me lie about everything. So, uh, you know, obviously I'm not going to just believe anything you fucking say because this is the type of shit you say every day. The other day, this guy probably called me and said, uh, my mother sucked this cock. Actually, that was probably true because I probably paid her to do it to him because instead of her, him paying me to have my mom suck his dick, I usually pay my mom so he can suck she can suck his dick because I usually record it and put it on Pornhub. But besides all of that, um, I literally uh, looked up on the news myself. I'm like, let me see if this is true. I looked up his name and there he was. Like you saw that picture I showed of you, him in the handcuffs naked. I'm like, what in the fuck? So basically what happened was this motherfucker. But basically what had happened was. Anyways, like, you know, the ghetto people say. It was basically what happened uh was that he woke up and supposedly he thought the world was ending because they i don't know if he felt the earthquake or they told him there was an earthquake but that triggered something in his brain now i don't know if he was on angel dust or not supposedly the reports say he was on angel dust which makes even more sense why he would go crazy but i don't even think he was on angel dust i think he just lost his fucking mind its mind went click anyone's mind could go click if you think your mind can go click, well, you're very dumb, okay? Um, you're pretty ignorant to psychology is all I got to say. But anyways, um, so basically what happened in his brain is he went crazy. He proceeded to go downstairs knocking on everyone's door. This is what happened. Like, ah, open the door, the world's ending. He thought the world was ending. 
So in his mind, I guess he's like, let me just kill people. I don't know what the fuck's going on in his mind. So basically, he didn't start off with a knife. Open, someone opened the door to him because they knew him. He went inside, started hitting people, whatever he did. These old people, by the way, which is, they can't even defend themselves. But he went in, went into the kitchen, grabbed the knife, stabbed, stabbed. To, I guess, the man and the woman that was in the house. Stabbed them. Now, him getting naked, he didn't start off naked. This is exactly why I think he got naked. He started panicking to the point where, he, when he was stabbing these people, or whatever, he saw blood on his clothing. So he probably was like, oh, I gotta take off my clothes. Ah. So he, he took off his clothes, all his clothes off, and then he was just naked. Running around, went to the next person's door, stabbed them, stabbed them, whatever. I think he stabbed about four people, and I think he killed three, I believe. Some, I guess, uh, they were all old people, too. This guy ruined a lot of people's lives and families. Just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. Anyways, um, yeah, he did all that. Um, then... When he finished stabbing the people on the third or second floor, whatever the case is, he went down the stairs. He ran into some pregnant girl, and he just, like, punched her and kicked her or something. Thank God he didn't kill her, at the very least. Ran outside. Ran outside naked. My friend came... My friend Kay Burton's mom actually saw him naked and was like, What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? And he just kept running, and he's, and he's like, What the fuck? And she, she saw the whole thing. So basically, he ran outside screaming, I want to kill myself. Oh, uh, sat in the corner while the cops were looking at him. He proceeded to carve his chest with a knife. Just carving his chest with a knife. I don't know. And he told the cops to please kill him. Like, kill me, kill me. Please kill me. This is what the mom said that saw him. That he was screaming like, please just end my life. Kill me, kill me. So then they ended up, you know, putting him in um, handcuffs. And uh, they took him to jail, which he's in jail. I, give, I, I think he's in jail for life, to be honest, and that's good. I don't think he should be out. In fact, uh, this might sound harsh. I don't know to who this would sound harsh to, but, you know, there are idiots out there. I feel like I wish, instead of going on that killing rampage, I wish he would have just jumped out the window and he would have taken his own life instead of killing, you know, innocent people. And I don't, I don't care who that sounds harsh to. Uh, yeah, you just can't kill people, you know, that's, no, take your own, if you want to kill a bunch of people, take your own life, anyways, this is him right now in jail, I found this picture, this is him, uh, because I was thinking about maybe writing him and asking him why did he do what he did, why did he, yeah, why did he do what he did, but I don't want to write him, hold on, here, here it goes, let me see, is it is it giving anything up? No, hold on. I'll show you a picture of him. Okay. This is him right now. I know you can't see it properly. There you go. Him in jail. And and, and, and there's people that know me that, that haven't seen this. This is actually a picture of him in jail. If you want to know how he looks and how he is, that's him. Okay, so I found this. I emailed it thinking I was going to talk to him maybe. Well, I didn't get to talk to him. His mom wrote me back and said, if I want to talk to him, I have to write him a letter. And the thing is, I'm not even going to take that much time out of my life to write this guy. Uh, nah, not going to not gonna do it. I don't even want my address to be. I don't trust anybody. I don't want my address there. I just really wanted to ask him what went on in his brain, what happened. I don't know. Whatever. That's just a crazy story I wanted to share. I never thought I would know some weird murderer guy like that in my life this is the type of stuff that you that you see on netflix documentary bullshit and it, it happened to me and it's really weird to know and i wanted to share that with you it's extremely strange i actually made a whole entire album i made like 11 songs about him and this whole thing that went on hopefully one day i can release it to you so you can hear it and how I felt and I and I made a bunch of inspired me to write a bunch of music not in a good way but you know obviously you could take the most negative depressing times of your life and you could turn it into into art I guess you know what I mean you know what I mean uh
And that's all I got to say. And this is a real story. It's pretty crazy. And I wanted to share it with you. All right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah, do everything. All that stuff. All right. Thanks.